Hey guys, welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips. We are still here with the robot, and today we're going to be talking about draping the robotic arms, and we're going to be talking specifics, everything about these arms, how to control them, how to dock them. Let's get going. Alright, so first off, we're going to be talking about how to move these arms specifically and also move the boom from the field. Uh, sometimes when, you, when the nurse is driving the robot in over the patient, you need to move and, or rotate the boom. Uh, she can do it, she, she or he can do it from uh, the back of the console, but sometimes it's just easier for the people that are scrubbed in to just rotate the boom as the nurse is pushing it in, getting ready to dock it. So, we have a button right here on the back of this, uh, this arm shoulder. I like to call it the shoulder. I like to call this the elbow. And this is kind of like the hand. So, if we, if we hit this button and hold it down, we're able to rotate the entire boom itself. Now we have two more buttons that are attached to each of these arms. We have one button here at the, at the bottom of the hand, I like to say, and that's gonna move side to side, up and down. And a button up here that's going to angle left, right, forward, and backward. All movement directly from the elbow here. This movement is coming back from the shoulder. I almost forgot one other use for this uh, one other use for this back button is holding it down and pulling pulling the arm all the way down. You'll notice it's red right here and that's going to enable the sterile person to lower the boom or heighten the boom all by the touch of that button. I've got one more button to talk about on this arm. It's it's located on the back side. Remember, we have our two buttons here, one here, one here, but those, there's also a button directly on the back side of the arm. And this button is specifically for patient clearance. If after you dock your, dock your uh, robot and you have all your instruments in place and the surgeon's moving around and, and working, on, working on the case, and you notice that these, these arms are getting close to the patient, you can use this patient clearance button to move an arm out of the way to make sure that you have enough clearance so it's not going to be harming the patient. Now what's new with the XI, which is pretty cool, is the fact that you can just grab it and you can move it yourself in all of these directions. I like to be, I, I feel like that's a little bit more too much brute force than I'm used to, so I do still use the buttons because it's, uh, it's fine movements and it's easier to dock these arms with fine movements rather than just taking the whole thing and, and trying to you know, put it into the trocar this way. It's much, much easier with fine movements with the buttons. Now, I don't know if you've noticed these yet, but there's a whole bunch of weird little red dots up on, on the top of these arms. These are actually magnets and these are for draping purposes uh, the drape that we're going to be using is basically a big uh, clear plastic drape. It's going to go over the arm, all the way up the arm, and there's two little magnets that you're holding onto underneath the drape that you just snap in place on each of these uh, magnet, magnet holes here. So when looking at this robot, you would think you have one, two, three, four drapes that you need to drape with. That's not the case though. We have a magnet right back here, and this is the column drape. It's important that you put the column drape on first. Always put the column drape on first. So I'm sorry, but I don't have a sterile setup that I can use with this, but I do have some extra robotic drapes. So I'm gonna drape out the column drape first. Now, obviously, I'm just doing it with my bare hands, so you're gonna kinda have to use your imagination a little bit here. This is our column drape when you get it on your table. 
we're just gonna open it up just like that and this is our magnet this is this is the magnet that I was talking about that it's going to uh, to attach to on the column or vice versa on the on the arms when we get the uh, the arm drapes so you want to make sure that this is away from you and I'm just gonna place this right on the column hands are touching the outsides of the drapes this this already has you know a, a formation of, of a square to be able to go right onto that tower so I just like to hold right underneath those and put it right there on the magnet. I'm holding the outside of the drape and you're just going to tear the tapes and pull the drape down. Always handling the outside or the yeah, the outside of the drape itself. That's the tower drape. Next is going to be our arm drape. Our arm drape is it's much easier on this console, that, or on this robot, than it is than it was on the SI. Uh, you're basically going to start over this arm and move up, move up, move up, move up, move up until you get to the magnets, and just put the magnets in place. This is the arm drape as you're going to get it right out of the package on your field. So it's on your sterile field. Pop this tape open and fold it out. You want to make sure this piece and this piece are facing forward when you uh, when you drape this. Uh, so I like to put my obviously this is my hand, but sterile hand, and I like to grab both of these plastic pieces together and go directly over the arm like this, starting it on the outside and kind of dropping it and draping it over the arm itself. Next thing you need to do is you'll notice that on the drape we have two little hand, we have a hand here, we have a hand here with our magnets above each hand. That's telling you that you need to take both of your hands and slide them in these cuffs. You're going to then pull the drape all the way up the arm and attach the magnet pad. It's as simple as that. Kind of pull some of the slack out. We're going to undo this tape, bring this down a little bit. And now we will attach our top plastic piece and our bottom plastic piece. It's very, very important to note that you do not get any excess drapes underneath these plastic pieces. If you do, you'll probably have a fault. It won't dock right. It won't uh, accept an instrument correctly. It's just not good. I will take these, uh, these little malleable things and I will just press them backwards to keep this drape smooth and out of the way so it's easy to insert the instruments directly into the trocars. If this is out like this, and you go to, to insert an instrument, you might accidentally puncture this drape and completely contaminate the instrument itself and the case. So take these malleable little uh, plastic pieces and you know just push them back into the arm to keep that drape out of the way. Last part of this draping is this, uh, this plastic piece that's on the back side of the drape. It's just going to slide and clamp in. Remember, try to keep the the plastic out of the way and it's just going to clamp in place to try and keep some of that slack out of the drape itself and keep it down instead of you know bunched up over where you're going to be inserting instruments all right i think i'm going to end this video here uh, we went over the draping and specifics of, of the arms themselves uh, the next video will probably be going over docking, inserting instruments, and, and docking itself, docking all the truck cars and what have you. Uh, thank you guys for watching.
and stay tuned to the next robotic video. Thank you.